Hi everyone, so welcome back to the channel and another academic video. This week is all about academic working environments and in particular is it easier to do some jobs as a lecturer in your home office versus in your university academic office. If you're uh, welcome Welcome back if you're a returning visitor to the channel. If you are, you will know that my name is Caroline and I'm a UK-based physics lecturer. So I research, I work and I teach in physics at a UK university. And I'm very lucky. I've got a home office, which is what I'm sitting in right now. And I've also got an academic university office. Um, and it got me thinking a bit about how actually I tend to preference doing certain parts of my job in certain locations. Now, obviously, the university is now fully back open. Um, we've been kind of changed through the pandemic, how we had to work. But these days I can go into my office whenever I want to. Um, but some days I work from home, some days I work from the office and some days I do a combination of both. And I find I tend to do certain activities in certain office environments. So let me know in the comments of these things I'm going to describe, where do you prefer working and why? Um, I find that I really prefer doing my marking in my home office. Um, I'm not sure if it's quieter, so maybe I get more of a kind of marking rhythm going. Maybe it's the proximity to the kettle and chocolate in the kitchen that I find it easier to do my marking at home. Um, but when I've got marking to do, I typically prefer doing that marking at home. The only caveat being if it's exam paper marking. Um, if it's exam papers, I tend to not want to take them to and from the university. Um, we have lots of strict protocols about how we actually handle physical exam papers. So exam papers, when they're physical copies, I tend to do that in my university academic office. But if I'm marking essays or coursework or class tests or anything in particular online, I tend to prefer marking in my home office. Writing lectures is another one I tend to prefer to do at home. Um, I think again because it's quieter. Uh, I can get into a bit more of a kind of thought process. Sometimes I want to go through the lecture material, make sure everything flows nicely, make sure I've got all the resources ready for the students. And I think if I try to do that in my office at work, you know, it works OK until somebody knocks on the door or a student pops their head around with a question. And then my kind of chain of thought can get interrupted and I can kind of break my concentration on what I'm working on. And I think if I write lectures in my work office, it probably takes me longer than if I write a lecture in my home office. So along with the marking, I definitely tend to favour writing lectures when I'm at home and it's nice and quiet and I can just quietly get on with it without interruptions. <laughs> Writing research grant applications, on the other hand, I think I tend to prefer writing those in my university academic office. Um, maybe it's like the proximity to colleagues, being able to nip out and ask them questions or kind of you know run an idea past somebody is a bit easier when I'm on the university campus. Sometimes I need to go and get resources, you know, have a look at something in particular, maybe from the library, or I want to go and research a particular funding body or funding agency. I want to nip to the, kind of the funding support team at the university, talk through a few lines of inquiry. I, again, I just find it slightly easier to get the kind of the funding applications drafted and written when I'm in the academic office at the university because I'm surrounded by all the university resources, you know, all the right people, the finance people, the people who know about the research kind of councils and how they operate, the library. Um, I just find that, again, a little bit easier when I'm in the university environment. <laughs> Meeting students, um, I much prefer meeting students face to face. I think it's a nicer experience for the students. I hope it's a nicer experience for the students. I certainly prefer being able to see them face to face. I've had to have a few meetings over like Zoom or like Teams or something so far this semester. 
Um, where possible, I try to avoid it. Um, so obviously, if I'm doing a face-to-face -face meeting, it's going to be in the university campus and it's going to be using my academic office. And that's a real perk, actually, of having a, a university office that you can go to, is I find myself not only using my office to kind of work in and to do kind of written tasks and activities, but also I host an awful lot of meetings in my office. Um, and meeting students, so both my PhD students for PhD supervision and meeting my personal tutees, I much prefer doing face-to-face -face in the university office. Um, expense claims, travel expense claims, they tend to be something I do at university uh, purely because my receipts tend to be at university and we have a kind of a receipt based system. We have to handle all your receipts and kind of prove that you were traveling and where you were going. And again, I just find it easier. There's a photocopier at work. I can kind of scan in the documents that I need to. Anything kind of like travel claim, budget claim, receipt claim, invoice claim. I tend to save all of those jobs for when I'm in the university office rather than the home office. Then there's some tasks that I kind of do in either location. So as admissions tutor, I have to write presentations for welcoming new students, making sure the admissions day is going to run smoothly, open days run smoothly. Um, I find I can do that both at home and when I'm in the office. When I'm in the office, I tend to go around and knock on people's doors <laughs> to make sure they're able to help support the open days, the activities they've signed up to, and um, to make sure that our labs are ready to go, the department looks good, the banners are set up, everything's in its place. When I'm at home, I tend to do like the logistical typing activities, so the presentation type writing, and the kind of the plans for the day so everybody knows where they are, the kind of contact numbers and all the rest of it. Um, but yeah, admissions, I find I can do both at home and in the office, although I do tend to tailor my tasks according to which location I'm in. <music> Exam question writing. Um, I tend to do, try to do that at home if possible. Um, obviously, it has to be very private and kind of securely controlled. Students can't see the exam questions before the exam period starts. So I tend to at least do the initial thinking of my exam questions at home, even if I then end up then formalising them within an office environment at the university. Um, again, I think it's just because that kind of quiet space to quietly think about something without being kind of interrupted in my thought process. Uh, paper writing, so writing academic papers. Again, both locations are fine, home office, work office. Um, I quite like sometimes writing academic papers in the work office, again, because I'm surrounded by my lab notebooks and I've got other researchers who maybe I kind of worked with for that particular paper who are contributing to that paper. So again, yeah, writing papers tends to be, I guess, more of a university activity, although I do sometimes write them at home. Uh, paper writing is often kind of fitted in around other activities. So obviously my teaching kind of takes priority during semester time. My admin work is important, but I want to keep my research profile high. So that means writing papers. So they tend to kind of get squeezed in, um, which does mean that sometimes they happen in the evenings at home. Um, but where I can, I try to get a bit of university writing time dedicated to my, my research papers. And I guess finally, any kind of important meetings. So meetings like where I'm working face to face with admissions. So I have uh, visitors come to the campus to have tours often will start in my university office. It's a nice place to sit, to show a few slides, talk a little bit about the university structure before we go out onto a tour. Um, some of my meetings will be with industrial supervisors and industrial sponsors for work. And again, that can be in either location. It doesn't really matter whether I'm in my home office or my work office. I can dial in easily. As long as I've got my headphones on, you know, I can just kind of jump straight into a phone call. That's absolutely fine. Um, although sometimes it's quite nice to be at work for those as well because I can have a phone call and then nip down the corridor to chat to somebody about it afterwards if, if I need to. So yeah, it does, it does vary, I guess, a bit depending on the task, where I prefer to be. Um, it seems to be like the marking, the exam writing, the lecture preparation work I seem to do best when I'm in a very, very quiet under environment that's not going to be disturbed 
very frequently, whilst things like the face-to-face -face meetings with students, research grant writing, paper writing, I seem to be able to do that better in an academic university environment. Um, but I'd love to know, do you have the luxury of having both a home office and a university office? Do you only have one space that you get to work in? Do you have to share your university office with other people? How do you find that you distribute your tasks amongst your different working locations? Um, if you're a student, do you find yourself hanging out in the library a lot? Or do you tend to work in quiet cafes? Um, I think some people really need music to work. Some people need silence to work. Some people like to listen to the radio. Um, let me know what is your preferred working environment. Um, and do you favour using the university office for some tasks and another location for other tasks? Um, leave me a comment. As always, I absolutely love reading the comments. If you're new to the channel as well, maybe think about subscribing. Completely free. Um, you can join our academic space here on YouTube. Different academic related topic each week. And I do look at comment ideas and suggestions that people send in for things we can do in the future. So please do keep interacting with the channel. I hope you have a really, really good week. Um, it's going to be a busy week for me. Lots of teaching, lots of admin stuff to do. And there's some really cool research things I want to get my teeth stuck into. So a busy week ahead, but stay safe, take care, look after yourselves, and I'll see you next Monday for another academic video. Bye.